Hey my little angels and happy fall or autumn you guys in the upper hemisphere I guess. <laughs> Welcome back to another video and let's find out who won the 250 choose queen code and the winner is Jukash4180. Congrats. You can DM me on Discord or on forums. The next giveaway is going to be for any sort of fall item, like a clothing accessory. So good luck in finding the code, you guys. Okay, so more stuff about the back to school event. It's the same as before, pretty much. But anyways, if you, you get 25 tickets for finishing the advent calendar, so finishing 10 of these dance maps, you need to get all of them correct, all three A's. That's how you'll get each one of these. So if you get all three of these, basically you can level this up to get 25 tickets for that. And then the next one is your geography map where you need to get all eight out of eight. You need to get them all right in order for it to count on your advent calendar over here. Even if you get, you can get five out of 10 correct to actually get the A letter, but it will not count here. You need a full 10, like eight out of eight, basically. So that's the last one. And here also you get 25 tickets and you randomly get owls with the A's, I believe. I don't know if you get it with an F, but you do get it with it. I think you won't get it with the A's. So whenever you get the A letter, you can randomly get an owl. The owl pets are tradable and that is important because we have a new shop item that they put into like the trade event thing today. So it's like the emote. I'll, I'll tell you about it in a bit. But anyways, yeah, so that's your 10 out of 10. And then next, let's see. Mm, what was I gonna do here? Oh, I'll show it to you. I'll show this to you in another map. Oh, but also you can go above 80 tickets here for the red tickets. Apparently the limit is 250, 200. I don't know. I'm not getting that far for sure. <laughs> and then let's see. Yeah, so you randomly get the owl pet and it is really hard to hop maps. But sometimes it limits you. Sometimes it doesn't. I don't know. It was weird unless they've changed it from today. But yeah, you can get a max of like six A's. Like if you get a dance map, maybe you get it in like a Defalante or racing room because those will be faster than maybe your regular rooms because those maps take longer to finish over there roughly. So if you finish this in time and you can hop over to another dance map, you can get up to six letters. But sometimes you might, the second time, second place that you'd go to, maybe it might not count. So it does sometimes limit you. But I think relogging also stops it. But it's kind of hard to farm this event. But anyways, these are all your different prize stuff. Oh, the orb. Uh, you can basically, if you buy the badge with one of these, both of these become non-buyable kind of thing. So you could choose whether you want to do it with the A or the F. And if you want to complete everything, you will have to do like... I find A's to actually be easier to get than the F. Because A's, you can literally get the letter. You don't have to wait for the end of the map in order to get that F. You can quickly get the A and like move on to another one. Like, let's say like racing for instance. So yeah, that helps <laughs> do a little bit faster if you're trying to find maps. Okay, last three all. Yeah, so the owl pets are going right now between 10 and 20 CC. That's the average. So I'm just letting you guys know right now at this very moment that I'm recording because right now they're a hot commodity because you need these to trade for the dirt pigeon emote, which is like the second best or maybe even the best thing in the, the prize for this event after the orb or the orb comes before this, we'll see. But those are like the top two like amazing prizes in this event. So you need 20 owl pets in order to trade for it. So this is tradable. So a lot of people are buying these right now. And that's your dirt pigeon. Basically, uh, after I bought it, I couldn't see it. You actually have to re-log in order to be able to see the new emote in your list. Mm, okay. But yeah, so here was one from Mouse. You can get like all these things for the shells. And then you already know Indiana, the usual. Then over here is from Melo. That's where you actually get that. So you have those owl pets. <laughs> so you trade those and boom, you'll get the emote. So it's from that one. And then if you go over here, we are, okay. <laughs> we already know what you actually get from the other ones. So you go to Prof. And that's the stuff that you're going to get from Prof. So all those, I'm done with all of that. We still don't know about the scarf or the title. I'm not sure if Tig is doing this on purpose and releasing one of these every week. If that's the case, then hmm. 
But anyways, that's that for now. And yeah, now we can check the letters. This actually came right after I'd recorded my last video. I guess I was it was uploading. <laughs> but anyways, this was a new letter format. So cool. Hey, pro write back at your Rick. Um, Paris and Sweden. Fun. Also Paris Disneyland. Ooh, fun. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun, honestly. And look at that. You're a rat sitting at a desk. Oh, you're in class and you have like the clock and like the chalkboard, I guess, or the whiteboard. A chalkboard, I don't know, it just seems more vintage. <laughs> it seems to work in the background well. But anyways, oh my gosh, you drowned like the whole thing. How did your ink not run out yet? I'm guessing my ink ran out here, maybe. <laughs> but anyways, that is so cool. And thank you so much. I love this artwork. Hi to you too, ghostly lazy. Derp. Derp face. Derp face. <laughs> Shy. Aw. It's a little froggo hiding behind a heart. So cute. Welcome back, Lucas. Haven't seen you around in a little bit. <laughs> and Zero Dawn. Seriously, thank you so much. <laughs> Hi! Uh, you drew your rat. The eyes are staring into your soul. <laughs> the tongue. Uh, <laughs> Mom. Derp. Derpy eyes. <laughs> solely, solely. Another kind of mum. Okay, that's my ratto, I guess. <laughs> and citrus, oh my goodness. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is such a pretty fur. I need to still out make an outfit with this fur. We'll do that later on. Oh, but grinding for this event to get it all complete, it took me like a whole of four or five days. Like I was doing my own work and then I'd set a timer for when the event's about to come out, play the event, go back to doing work. To do that for like five days, maybe four to five days. Actually, it took me five days because one of the days I had a bunch of stuff, so I wasn't on TFM. So I guess you can say four days. But then again, the time between the events, that time was 26 minutes on average. But right now, if it's going to be like 15 or 16 minutes, you can probably cut that time in half so maybe two to three days if you get around 15 16 minute time intervals which it is right now i think it's around 16 someone said but it might be like 17 i think but anyways that like oh my gosh my current outfit i love the way you did the butterfly though the way it looks like ah i love that <laughs> for like your your artwork's really amazing i've seen it on our tribe server but yeah oh my gosh <laughs> And blue also oh, is so cute. You drew my me with that smurf hat. So cute. Love that. Oh, you did the eyes too. Like, oh, looks nice. Hi, another blue drawing. Oh, I love all these artworks, you guys. Always have fun looking at them. So pretty. Cutie, do you want to come around and build a snowman with me? Yes, no, maybe so. Then we watch Frozen and the sequel, Frozen 2, and sing it, sing Let It Go at full volume. Thank you, animations. <laughs> hey, Keys, Rupert. Ruby Gilman here. Let's do some counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then we have our items. If you like cottage core, you might actually like these. This reminds me of the balloon that we had. It looks pretty similar to the balloon, leaf balloon. Then you have a fall leaf head item kind of thing. <laughs> Personally, I can pass up on this time. Oh, take a break from it. <laughs> but that's just me. So we have forest planks, a leaf cannon, and an autumn leaf head item all right now we can see the prices of these okay so we have okay that's pretty cheap then again i think they knew not a lot of people will buy it or use it personally even the other leaf head item that we had before this i i just did it like once or twice maybe but honestly not much even this might be like in fall outfits but eh, not that big of a deal if you love cottage core stuff this is gonna go so perfectly with your other items and the cannon but yeah, that looks really good for cottagecore type vibes, I guess. But personally, I'm like, since the plank is kind of similar color to like the original one, that's why I'm like, eh, kind of pass for me. <laughs> Not that big of a deal. Cannon, all right, I guess. We already have a leaf balloon that kind of looks similar. So mm, it's an okay for me. But we have vaporwave outfits. And of course, I love them. Love the creativity on this one. Love the colors on this one. But anyways... If you don't know the aesthetic, usually this is like a sun that's peeking out. So this one's really well done in that creativity sense. So we have a collector fur, a permanent, permanent collector, collector that's not often used. So if you want that hair, definitely get it now. It's a permanent and that's a collector hand item. Also, I don't think I see this hand item being used a lot either. So definitely get it if you want that as well. We have had this fur come in a few times. 
but that's a collector, that's a collector if you want the visor. Hmm. Did it come out on sales recently? Because I mean, summertime, summer sales? Hmm. Don't know. Anyways, I don't recall. That's a permanent, that's a per Oh, both of these use the same earpiece. <laughs> That is a collector. It's been a little bit since I've seen this one. That has also a collector. If you want space buns, definitely get that hairstyle as well. That's a collector hand item. So if you want that spike, you can also go for it too. And yeah, those are the outfits and the sales now. So we have, this is like the third set of pirate related sales. <laughs> so definitely get your paws on these if you want any of these. Mm. Personally, I can pass on all of these. Maybe if you like the sham stuff, but personally, I don't really use any of this other stuff. <laughs> but there you go. Those are your sales as well. And I think that's it for this video. Oh, wait, we have to do customization. All right, so let's see. We get large. Let's see. Oh, okay, that's a lot of color. I love the muted kind of color tones to these. And now look at what I did. Now it looks really bad, the color combinations. <laughs> so, okay interesting order at that part of the leaf, the rest of the leaf, okay. Top of that, that, and that, okay. I mean, there is a decent order, I guess. We have that, we have this, we have that, then we have this, and then that. Okay, there is actually some it's a pattern to the order. All right, let's see these. I guess it's a similar case. Yep, inside leaf, outside, and the rest of the vines. The spots on the mushroom, huh. No spots here? Okay. Then you have that part of the mushroom, then you have the stems, then you have the tops of these mushrooms, then you have those little bits, that little bit, then you have this and that. Okay, similar to the other one. Next we have our cannon. Let's make it really big. Okay. Three different colors, all right. <laughs> you have the main thing, then you have the stem, and then you have the arrow. Okay. And if you see the balloon, I mean, it's it's a similar vibe here. Exact like stem and the leaf, like, literally looks pretty similar. <laughs> okay, the leaf head item. Oh my goodness, it's so many colors. I was not expecting so much. Okay, oh, you have the outline in this case, and then the inside of that stem. Outline, and then you have the veins of it, I guess, inside, middle, and then the outer part of the leaves. All right, so that's quite a bit of customization. I wasn't expecting these three to be separate. Maybe two, I guess. But anyways, that is that. Oh, let's check out if the other head item has been fixed. Yes, it has been fixed, and it is, huh. Why is the bottom one? It should be, this should have been like the top customization, and that should have been the bottom customization. But anyways, yay, we have gradients. I love that. Like literally, this is the total opposite of what, lo what it looks like here. These two should be switched around, but it has been fixed. Oh, that looks like sunset. Yay, gradients. But yeah, that's been fixed from last week. Oh yes, and my suggestion for the owl pets is I would wait it out because a lot more people will be getting it and it won't be as in demand. So you'll probably get it for a lot cheaper or back to closer to its original price in pets. I think usually pets are normally like one cc or maybe two cc. Like if they're newer, they might be like two to three cc, I guess, each. But then they will eventually go down to one cc, maybe. If not, I mean, I would wait and see if it would come in village because at least or like at the at professor. You might get it for either cheese, some sort of coins or for tickets, and that's probably cheaper than getting it right now. I'd wait it out, but if you can't, then right now they're kind of selling for like 10 to 20 cc on average. So just a tip, but have an awesome day, you guys. Bye. Keep it As always, peace.